semi-illegally. Well, I suppose it was fully illegal. I got a ticket. See this whole thing back here? The loading zone for this building. And I parked in this small space right here in between their driveway and their front door, hoping that I would get away with it. And my intention was to come out before they opened and move my car back to there, which is behind that sign. I missed it by 20 minutes. That sucks. So I have an idea. Since today is the day before Valentine's Day, I don't want to wait until tomorrow to get Danielle flowers and gifts and such because I don't want I don't want them to be out of the flowers that she likes. So here's my thought. I'm gonna surprise her with Valentine's Day gifts and flowers and things like that on the day before Valentine's Day. She's not gonna see it coming. It'll be a pretty big surprise for it to happen the day before because I usually do it the day of. And then we can still do the stuff that I planned for tomorrow, for Valentine's Day, you know, going out and all that kind of stuff, but she's not going to see the flowers coming. I like that idea. I like these much better. They just look nicer. Seem like those are better flowers. Around. I can hold it out like this and talk to it. Oh, good lord, yo, that's yeah. sick, sick, yo. <laughs> it's a kind of nice, yeah, it is nice, yo. I love it. I do I do daily videos on YouTube. Oh, that's what you do? Yeah, so oh. I carry this around with me and talk to my camera all day. And oh, good lord, yo, what's your name? I'm Josh. Josh, nice, yo, good guy. I like, like, like that stuff. Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. Nice to meet you. What was your name? See? What was your name? Eddie. Eddie? Nice yeah, to meet you, Eddie. Okay, nice to meet you. Have a good one. <laughs> the guys working construction over there thought my camera was cool, so they came up and talked to me about it. Super nice people. I love New York, man. Okay, so you remember the building that I was looking at a few weeks ago? It's really windy up here. I'm on the roof with Mark. So Mark manages the property and he's showing me around. I finally, I finally got in. Yeah, he said I finally got in. <laughs> <laughs> the views out these windows. Look at this. Thanks so much, nice man. Meeting you. Really appreciate it. Well, uh, and I'll be I'll be talking to you more soon, I'm sure. I hope everything works out. Okay. Yeah. What? That was cool. Okay, so here's the deal. I, I just called the name on the on the building, Mark, and got a hold of him, and he said, you know, I I never let people in. I never let people into this building, but I felt like I needed to let you in. And so we go in. I start telling him about our business and and I feel like God's telling me like tell him about the church talk to him about it so I did I start talking to him about our church why we're here what we want to do what we feel like God's calling us to do and he goes I think you're my next tenant what okay so 
He takes me up, shows me different floors and different levels. It's perfect. Like one floor, one floor, we could have church there, we could have offices, we could have studios, photography, and, and video studios. Part of it could be rented by the church, part of it could be rented by Danielle and I for our business. It, it's perfect. The lighting is amazing. The views are, the views are incredible. And then he starts telling me that the whole building is built on a spring. So this whole thing is built on a spring. It's built on a spring, yeah. When it's settled, you see you see the water bubbling up, coming up. I was like, holy crap! <laughs> That's why I was like, I came down here expecting it to kind of smell musty or something. It smells like fresh spring water, like you're standing next to a river. This is amazing. It's very slippery. The, that place we were in over there is where the spring comes up, and they pump it and to this over here to kind of like keep it from, otherwise it would just like create a, a lake, I think. Like there is literally a freshwater spring in the basement. Now, now to me, what that says is that this is a place that, that is life-giving. Like I went in the basement and it doesn't smell musty. It smells like a fresh spring. It smells like a river. Like you're standing in a, in a next to a river in, in nature. Like it smells really nice, actually. It's crazy. But the fact that that whole building is built on a spring, and he said, whenever I came here, he's like, I wanted, Mark said this, whenever I came here, I wanted to make this building feel like it's alive. He said, because this building is alive. And then he told me about the spring, and I said, this building is supposed to give life. And he goes, you're exactly, you're exactly right. So yeah, I'm super excited. He gave me a number to call for the guy who's in charge of, of everything there at the building, like renting it out and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think this is this is gonna be perfect. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm really I'm really looking forward to talking to this guy that he gave me the number for and and uh, seeing what we could do because I don't know anything can happen. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta get back to my Valentine's Day business. That was kind of a detour that was unexpected. I wasn't expecting to to get into that building today, but I got into it and so. I need to get back to Valentine's Day prep. So, yes, I'm at Dollar Tree. It's, it's not about the amount of money that you spend. It's about the effort and the thought that you put into it. And I also had to come here and get some other stuff, so it's kind of like, it's kind of convenient, but they have, they have a good selection of things. I got some balloons, but this time I'm not letting them blow away. Valentine's Day shopping, done. Still gotta do some planning for tomorrow, but at least I got the gifts. So today was super awesome. Very awesome day. A lot of good stuff happened. Um, I have a phone call tomorrow to meet up with the guy who um, is like in charge of renting out space at the building. That building is perfect. It's awesome. Everything about today and that interaction there with Mark was awesome. What's interesting is Mark was telling me that, that he doesn't really have to work there or something along those lines. Like that he works there by choice at that building because he just felt like it was what he was supposed to do. Like if that's not a God thing, I don't know what is. It's like he was just sitting there waiting for the right person to come along. They haven't rented this building out in over a year, maybe longer. And Mark's just like faithfully sitting there waiting and just feels like that's where God wants him to be. Just waiting to see who's going to come along. And today I was able to get into the building. Maybe I'm the guy he was waiting on. But either way, I have a phone call tomorrow with the guy in charge of renting out the space. Told him about the church and what we're wanting to do. He seemed really, really into it. So things are looking good. Um, and despite the fact that today someone stole Danielle's phone number and went to an Apple store, hacked our AT&T account, and bought four iPhones on our AT&T account. It's still a really great day. I don't care. Like, I don't care that that stuff happened. AT&T fixed it. 
solve the problem. What do I have to worry about? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Any bad stuff that happens doesn't matter because God is calling us to be where we are and doing what we're doing and we're being faithful with that. And it's all gonna work out. I'm not worried. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah.